In example two, we're given a table that shows the amount of money that Hannah saved each week over the past month. And we're asked to find the constant rate of change for money saved per week. So again, we can look at any two values. We're looking for the change in savings over the change in weeks. So that is going to equal, we can pick any two. So let's look at 160 minus 80 over four minus two, which equals 80 over two, which equals 40. Or we could pick 160 minus 120 over four minus three. So 160 minus 120 over four minus three. And that is going to equal 40 over one. And we can also do 120 minus 80 over three minus two. So 120 minus 80 over three minus two. Again, that also equals 40 over one. So in short, our constant rate of change is 40. And that means that Hannah saved $40 per week. And then if we were asked, you know, how much would she save in so many weeks, we would just multiply the number of weeks times 40.